Welcome, in front of me is a POCO M7 Pro and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this phone. So when you boot it up for the first time you will be presented with the same screen that you can see on my end. And from here we're just going to click on the arrow. And then you want to find your desired language from the list. Now, I don't want to use Polish, so I'm just going to find English. There we go. And we can go to the next page. Choose your region. Uh, here, I actually recommend choosing something like, for instance, Poland, uh, Germany, or some other ones, European country uh, countries, as Europe has much better kind of uh, laws for consumer protection. So if there is anything that the EU forces some companies to do, they will need to abide by that. And sometimes they just do it maliciously only in that region. So in this case, you would be set. Anyway, so I'm going to stick with that. And moving on, we have terms and conditions. So just swipe down, check the box right here and you can go further. You can obviously read by tapping on each one of them. It says set up using another device, just you can set up your this new device using an old one. I'm gonna be skipping this. Checking for SIM card. Uh, if you want, you can insert your SIM card right now. And if you don't, you can just skip this. Next, you have connect to network. And again, you can skip this as well or connect to network. But if you choose to skip both of them, like I just did, uh, data and time might not be set automatically. Uh, additionally, I won't be able to sign into Google account or uh, also get software updates and uh, restore from backup. That only extends to going to the setup. After the setup, you can change all of that. Now here we have uh, services from Google, like uh, location, scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. You can turn all of those off, but let's be honest, it's Google, so it's not like turning that off probably does anything in the background. Google are a bunch of creeps, so I'm pretty sure personally that I, I feel like they're just going to gather their data one way or another with or without our permission. Otherwise, corporations wouldn't be in class action lawsuits if they, they were super trustworthy. Just a good for thought. Anyway, uh, moving on, we have uh, set screen lock. So you can choose either pin, pattern, password, uh, fingerprint, or face recognition. For the two biometrics, which are these two, you will always be required to select a physical way of unlocking the device, as biometrics aren't 100% reliable, and in the times that they fail you, uh, you would always be able to fall back on the actual physical way of unlocking the device. Or, alternatively, you just don't need to protect your device at all, though I would not recommend doing so. Next we have Xiaomi basic settings. So here we have location that's from Xiaomi. Uh, the thing that I personally recommend doing here is disabling this creepy ass shit right here, the personalized ads. Uh, and I do want to point this out because it's, it's Xiaomi stop it. It's such a cunt thing to do, like go. This is just almost unacceptable in my opinion. So typically just, just for reference, uh, UX design for Android is fairly uniformed when you agree to something or want to switch something off like this uh, and it's an action that requires confirmation the confirmation will be right here guess what happens when you press that nothing because it's designed to mislead you it's the other option turn off because apparently this is such a freaking great option that they don't want you to turn off and what it actually is is just a spyware it listens and sees what you search for and then gives you ads based on those. If it sounds like it's a creepy corporate shit, because that is because it's completely that. So yeah. Now, don't worry, Google will still be listening to you nonetheless. Uh, if you ever experience that, uh, for instance, you talk about cat food and all of a sudden you start getting uh, ads on websites or for instance on YouTube for cat food, even though you don't have a cat, it's not because Google is such a good person at predicting, it's literally because they're listening to this. Um, anyway, moving on. We have uh, turn on parental control. If you're giving this phone to a child, you might want to look into that. If it's something that you're gonna be using, you probably don't care. Next, we have a um, font. So we have two different fonts to choose from. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the default one, a bit more compact. Uh, set up your lock screen so uh, this might be something that you might want to skip it's a wallpaper carousel some uh, some other devices call it or actually no it is exactly how it's called uh, here and it's basically a random wallpaper anytime you press on the power button to wake up your screen when it's locked 
and it just cycles through different wallpapers that you don't have choice over and some of them are absolutely random and ones that you probably don't want to have as a wallpaper like for instance a brick wall uh, or a made cleaning or a basket of fruits like to each their own but personally i don't like it so i'll be skipping this next we have uh launcher either all applications smack middle of your home screen or app drawer i'm gonna stick with the app drawer which is selected by default good and for some reason it doesn't give us the navigation method because we're almost done with the setup so i guess we're gonna be stuck with gestures but you can change that in the settings later on And there we go. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.